I'm Josh Mandel. I'm the architect for a project called Smart Platforms at Harvard Medical School. And what we do is we provide an open source app platform for app developers to build functionality that can plug into electronic health record systems. So I'm going to show you a demonstration today of a platform called Smart on Fire, which uses a set of open standards to enable third-party developers to build tools that can plug into EHRs. So this is a quick architecture diagram which shows that we're going to see a few different applications, what we call them smart apps, running on top of two different underlying EHR systems. One is a demo sandbox server that we host ourselves at Harvard, and another is a Cerner electronic health record product. Same apps running inside these two different systems. The apps don't know the difference because the apps just talk through this interface called Fire. It's an emerging standard from HL7 called Fast Healthcare Interoperability Resources. And the idea is to provide a consistent representation of healthcare data for these apps so that developers know if they want to query for patient demographics or if they want to get a lab result. They know how to write those queries using RESTful HTTP technology and they know what they're going to get back. So let me jump in and show you an example of what our sandbox server looks like. So this is a server that we keep at Harvard. It's got about just 60 patients worth of sample data in it. Uh, it's at fire.smartplatforms.org. And you can sign into this, and it basically just does two things. It lets you pick a patient and run an app. So it's really geared towards demos here. And I'm going to show you, for example, um, an elderly man on whom I want to calculate a cardiac risk score. So I'm going to run the cardiac risk app on this record for Daniel Adams. And under the hood, what this app is going to do is it's going to fetch relevant lab results, so cholesterols and high-sensitivity CRP results, and it's going to get patient demographics like age and gender, and it's going to use those to compute a Reynolds risk score, so it's a 10-year risk of a heart attack or stroke. Uh, and so the cool thing about this app is we actually didn't design it. This app was designed by Dave McCandless and Stephanie Posevec from Information is Beautiful as part of a competition. They said, wouldn't it be better if we had nice ways to visualize healthcare information? And they submitted this design and they won a contest in Wired Magazine. And they made their design available under a Creative Commons license. But it was just a PDF. It was a static picture that they published. And we said, hey, we could take this PDF and turn it into an app. So instead of having a, just a static document, we've got an app. And we can start to say, you know what, what if you're smoking and your blood pressure is high? Well, you've got a 61% chance of having a heart attack in the next 10 years. And now we can start to have a conversation and say, you know what, if you quit smoking, uh, you can get your chance down to 46%. If you get your blood pressure modestly controlled, you can get your, your risk down to 25%. So instead of just a static view of the data, this can be the beginning of a conversation. So this is an app that we built to run on this platform. I'll show you one other example of an app that we built at Boston Children's Hospital, which is an app that looks at pediatric blood pressures, and it helps a pediatrician make a diagnosis of high blood pressure. Because the inputs to that process, as a pediatrician, you're supposed to look not just at the raw blood pressure and millimeters of mercury, but you're supposed to look at how tall the child is, and whether it's a boy or a girl, gives you uh, different normal values for a given age. So I'll show you, for example, this blood pressure percentiles app that will run on a patient record. And by default, it'll show me the last three visits, and it'll show me these blood pressures as percentiles. So you might not know whether 105 millimeters of mercury is sort of a normal value or a high value for an eight-year-old girl um, who happens to be 132 centimeters tall. But this app will calculate the percentiles for you, and you can say, yeah, it's about a 70th percentile number, and that's okay. So those are two apps running against our sandbox server. And what I want to do is switch gears now and show you the same apps running inside of a commercial EHR product. So I'm going to switch over to a demo here with the Cerner Power Chart EHR. And I've opened up a record for uh, an eight-year-old girl, uh, Carrie Demora. And right inside the EHR, this is the, the normal Cerner menu here on the side. And, and there's a lot of Cerner-specific functions. But we've added a set of smart apps to the list down here as well. So for example, I can run this blood pressure percentiles app right inside the EHR. And I can say for this patient that I'm looking at in the Cerner EHR, same deal. Um, at a glance, I can tell, for example, this is a child who's crept up from having normal blood pressure to having pre-hypertension over the course of the last year. And I can see this based on the last three visits. Using this sidebar on the left here, I can run other smart apps as well. So I'll show you an example of a growth chart application that we built um, at Harvard that looks at standard growth chart measures, lengths and heights, and body mass index and lets you see a clinician-focused view that gives you a, something very similar to what you might experience on paper, but with the ability to overlay points and calculate growth velocities. But it also has built in what we call the parent view. 
because this is a tool not just for clinicians but for parents. And giving a parent a bare growth chart and saying, why don't you take this home with you and put it on your fridge, it's a very difficult communication. Instead, what we've done is we've built in a parent view that distills the details to the key clinical information. And so in this case, we've got the point that the child is overweight. Uh, and so we want to highlight that. So you know what? If we're talking to parents, the key message here is your child is overweight. And even more important, she's getting more overweight since her last visit. She's creeping up towards obesity. So we want to make sure that we can have that focused conversation. And here's an app that can help. So I've shown you a few open source apps that we've built, running in our sandbox, running in Cerner. The last thing I'll show you is a commercial app that we didn't build, but it's a commercial app running in this commercial EHR using smart platform technology. So this is an application called Meducation, and it does medication translations. So I'll show you a record for a 70-year-old woman. She's a Russian-speaking woman who might come into the emergency room with cellulitis, and she's gonna get prescribed some antibiotics, and it's not helpful if you send her home with English language instructions about how to take her antibiotics. So I'm going to launch the Meducation app. So again, this is a commercial app from a company called Polyglot. And it reads the medication list using the Smart on Fire API. It's able to figure out the meds that I might have just prescribed. And I say, yeah, you know what? Let me give you your clindamycin instructions in Russian. And I can pick from over a dozen languages here. But since this is a Russian-speaking patient, I'm going to generate the Russian language instructions. Uh, and at a glance, I can see these instructions on the screen in Russian. And if I want to, I can print these out for the patient to take home from the ED. Uh, and so these are not just generic clindamycin instructions. These are clindamycin instructions that have been tailored to the specific signature uh, with which the medication has been prescribed. So in this case, we're talking about taking three pills a day. Um, and you can see a graphical depiction as well as Russian language instructions about how to take that medication. So that's a quick tour of a few apps, some open source, some commercial, running inside of two different health IT systems, one open source, one commercial. And the idea is with the smart platforms APIs, we have a set of open standards that allow developers to do this kind of integration without having to know how Cerner is different from our demo EHR. Same interface, same apps.